Hey everyone, it's Marie Forleo, and welcome to another episode of Marie TV and the Marie Forleo podcast. So, New Year's is around the corner, and one of my favorite things to do in December is something called a year in review. Now, 2019, this was a monster year for me. I mean, it was amazing, and it was exhausting, and it was everything in between. So, our business, right? It's like the biggest and the best that it's ever been. And I gave birth, actually, to a book baby. <laughs> she actually popped out an instant number one New York Times bestseller, and she's already speaking 27 languages. <laughs> what? And then I had this idea. I said, Imagine if a Beyonce concert and a TED Talk had a baby and then threw a block party. And we did that. We did that here in New York City, you guys. And I actually popped up on the stage from a damn toaster. Well, 2019 was like super extra. What I think is even more exciting is the fact that we are about to enter a whole new decade. So rather than just doing this typical year in review, I'm going to up the ante for all of us and help us do a decade in review. Now, you may be asking yourself, why? because you're amazing and your time on the planet matters. And I bet a lot's happened for you over this past 10 years. Am I right? I mean, some of it has probably been incredible and some of it has frankly been pretty difficult. At least that's been true for me. When you take the time to really honor where you've been and you get super intentional about what you wanna create in the future, I promise you, you are gonna set yourself up to have the best damn decade ever. Now, before we get started, you are gonna need a few supplies. You're gonna need a journal or a notebook, nothing fancy, just like a good old college-ruled little notebook. And you're also gonna need some pens or pencils, or in my case, gel pens, because I just think colored gel pens make everything a whole lot more fun. And to make sure that this process isn't overwhelming, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this into three parts. It's a little how to do a decade in review tutorial. Every video is gonna be short. We'll make it to the point as possible and it'll be easy to execute so you have got no excuses to get this thing done. This is actually an awesome activity to do with your friends and your family, so please share this. I promise if you do it together, you're gonna learn so many beautiful things about the people in your life that you care about, and all of you will know how to better support each other as you move into the future. Remember, you gotta build your figure-outable force field. And if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about with a figure-outable force field, guess what? You need to get this damn book already and read it. Now, of course, I want you to subscribe to the show and to the podcast so you know when the next lesson drops. And if you wanna share your progress with me, which I would love you to do, tag me at Marie Forleo on social and use the hashtag MFDecadeInReview so I can cheer you on. So are you ready? I'm ready, let's do this. So at the top of your journal or your notebook, you're gonna write Decade in Review 2010s. And then the first section we're gonna work on together is this, it's called section one, what I'm proud of. All right, so in this section, I want you to ask yourself, over these past 10 years, what have you done that you're super proud of? What are the obstacles that you've overcome? What are some of the results that you've created, whether it's in your career or your business or your life since 2010? And I know going back 10 years, it's a big deal, right? So if you need to jog your memory, check out some of your old calendars, look at journals, you can even go back in emails, or honestly, looking through all the photos on your phone is an excellent way to get your mind thinking of everything that you've done. And I know it might take a little bit of time, but I am telling you, this is so worth it. Most of us move so fast in life these days, and we have so many things that we're working on that we rarely, if ever, actually just stop, right? And take the time to digest and acknowledge all the progress we've made and actually see how far we've come because we're pretty awesome. Plus, so many of us are super critical of ourselves and we're constantly feeling like we didn't get enough done, that we didn't get enough accomplished. And from that place, from feeling defeated and deflated, I gotta say, nothing good is gonna happen. So I want you to really think about this. Think about the past 10 years. Have you made major changes in any area of your life? Think about your finances or your health or your career or maybe your living situation. Are there certain things that you've created or overcome, maybe in your family or your creative life? Maybe it has to do with your physical space, your home or your emotional habits. I want you to list it all down, everything big and small, everything in between. Then once you do that, I want you to go back through that big list, right? And ask yourself, out of everything that you've achieved, 
what's the most important thing or things to you on that list and why. And just start circling whatever jumps out to you. And once you do that, we're gonna make a new little subsection called what was most important and why. Once you have that, you're gonna write a few sentences about the most important things that you're proud of and why that actually matters. Because here's the truth. When you know what's been the most meaningful and the most significant things to you, when you really understand what's moved the needle the most and made the biggest difference in the quality of your life over these past 10 years, I'm gonna tell you, that insight is gonna help you make wise decisions about how to spend the next 10 years. Awesome job. So you're almost there. We've got another section for today, and that section is this. It's called section two, my learnings, my learnings. So in this section, you're gonna answer this question. What have you learned over the past 10 years? What wisdom has just become crystal clear to you? Again, think through your business or your career or your family or your relationships or your health or whatever. One of the best ways, I think, to actually find all the best lessons is to actually look for your mistakes, right? The places where you ran into the wall or you found yourself on your knees or it was really painful. What are some of the things that didn't go so well over this last decade? And how can you really learn and leverage those experiences? So write everything down. Again, no lesson is too small, big and small. And then ask yourself, in these past 10 years, what are the most game-changing things that you've learned and why? Like, what do you really want to make sure that you remember as you move into this brand new decade? And then you're going to write a new little subheading that says, the most important lessons and why they matter. So... You're gonna write down your most important lessons and why they matter to you. And I have to say that this section is so crucial and it's something that you should really look at often. The reason why is many of us have this pattern. We make the same damn mistakes over and over and over again. And this list will ha actually help you avoid that. So once you're finished, great job. That's actually all you have to do for part one. And you did amazing. Next week in part two, we're actually gonna work on the next section of our decade and review process. This is kind of like uh, an emotional colonic, so to speak. Really, really good. And I promise you, once you have this thing done, right, this is gonna be your own personal wisdom map to help you rock the next decade. You're gonna love it. Now, in the meantime, I would actually love to hear some of the things you're most proud of. What are some of your biggest lessons from the past 10 years? Tag me at Marie Forleo on social. Use the hashtag MF Decade and Review so I can cheer you on. Finally, if you're not subscribed to our email list, please go do it now at marieforleo.com. I send amazing, positive, loving emails that will keep you focused, inspired, and moving ahead. So until next time, stay on your game and keep going for your dreams because the world really does need that very special gift that only you have. Thanks for tuning in to Marie TV and the Marie Forleo podcast, and I'll catch you next time. Hey, you having trouble bringing your dreams to life? Well, guess what? The problem isn't you. It's not that you're not hardworking or intelligent or deserving. It's that you haven't yet installed the one key belief that will change it all. Everything is figureoutable. It's my new book, and you can order it now at everythingisfigureoutable.com.